Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to work with a, a new custom visual that we have uh, that help us to connect with Power Automate. So, uh, as you know that uh, we have a Power Platform environment that is about Power BI, Power Automate, and Power Apps. Before that, we have Power Apps for Power BI that help us to input data from uh, Power BI data set and then uh, run a Power Apps and provide uh, data entry for that. So now, actually, we have a new visual that you can access it through the marketplace uh, that help you to uh, trigger a Power Automate and a flow through Power BI. So to access that, you need to go to that tree dot, click on get more visuals, and under that, uh, just search for Power uh, Automate. So if you search for Power or Flow, it should come. You can see here, Power Automate or Flow, both of them actually work. So I'm going to add it here. So it will be add on the place that uh, all of my custom visual will be there. So I click on that. Uh, it's provide an overview and a description that uh, asks us to add data uh, from the field that we have. Uh, then we need to set up our flow that is going to open the Power uh, Automate environment inside here. And then we need to apply or share it with, uh, actually we need to apply and then share it if we like to share with other people. So I'm going to add some simple data about the author. So I'm going to add the author last name, uh, also uh, author email, uh, the uh, sales amount that we have, and the title of their book. So these are the information that I'm going to add. After that, I need to click on these three dots and I'm going to edit. That means that I'm going to design my flow. So I click on edit, it navigates me to the Power Automate environment that has been embedded over here. So it's so similar to the Power Automate for people who work with Power Automate. It is actually the same environment uh, for people who didn't. We easily able to uh, create there are some template as you can see here. We can go through them or we can start our own. So uh, the trigger for this power automate is about the bottom that will be appear there. So that's a trigger of that. And in the next step, uh, I have a sales data. I want to put a condition that if the sales data is greater than, for example, 200 or 300, I want to send the email and said that's a bestseller one. And uh, actually, uh, if that's less than that, I'm going to send the email to the authors and I'm going to tell them that how I can help them. So I click on the control. I'm going to do a conditional one. So here I'm going to put a condition based on the sales amount. As you can see here, these are the data that I got. So Power BI data AUL name, that actually is the author uh, L name, AUL name, or the uh, Power BI data title, title of the book. Uh, Mm, entity item and some other information that's actually power bi data sales amount i'm going to put a condition on top of that so i want to set that if it's greater than or equal for example 300 dollar if it's yes i'm going to uh, actually add the action here you can choose the action uh, that action can be anything you see that we have many many different type of the action my action is about sending the email so i said send email uh, i'm going to send email via office 365 out outlook and i choose the send email and here i need to connect it to uh, one of my emails. So if you don't have any connection, you need to make sure you create a connection. So to send the email, uh, you can write it 
uh, that I'm going to do. But also, if it's in a real environment, you can click on Add Dynamic Content. And as you can see, uh, we can see the email that we already have from Power BI Hour here. But for this scenario, because I want to it very fast, I just write my email address so we can see that. Radacod.com. Uh, and I want to, so it's greater than 300. I want to put the title best seller. And I want to put the, uh, actually the sales amount that has that. So best seller that, and I can put a message. So I can set hi. Um, I put the last name. Maybe it's better to put the first name. Uh, your, and I put the title of the book one is one of best seller book very simple I'm not going to make it complex and also if they are not greater than also for that scenario I'm going to send the email again that can be different action not just a send email but I just want to uh, propose a very simple approach to use the power automate so uh, you can choose whatever you want you can store in uh, sharepoint or lots of things you can do that so i'm going to send it to my email that is this one and the subject is need help to improve sale uh, so these are the books that they don't sell that much. So for this book title, and I can set hi, again, space here, uh, the L new name, for example, your sale, your book sales was, for example, uh, was um, not good so uh, if you need help let us know uh, still some limitation uh, that's actually we couldn't access for example the sales amount over here but we can access the sales amount uh, through here so uh, still some in kind of investment needs to be done but actually let's check it out so uh, is actually this is our message so bestseller this is for title and you can actually see how it works so after you've done your uh, power automate you need to save it and uh, so it's take a bit time to save and then when you back here you will see your environment you need to apply it so when you click on apply it's going to apply this follow for the uh, bottom that will be created over there so definitely make sure you save it and then you can apply it also you can share it with other people in your organization i'm back to here so now uh, it's not actually a uh, simple so it's become like a, a bottom here i'm going to publish it and then run it through there so i'm going to publish it save it first and i'm going to publish it to my workspace so publishing test flow i'm going through there so here uh, I'm going to click on that. So when I click, it's actually triggered that one. And I should start to receive email from my, actually through my email. So as you can see, the emails needs come. So that's a one that has, so it's going to kind of provide the email uh, for different people. I just wait till all of the email come. So as you can see here, some of them get the bestseller with the idea and some of them get the message that need help to improve the sales amount of this book. So this is about, I think 42 emails should be sent to me. And you see that how is actually easy work. So that's a kind of the good connection between the, what we have with the data that we have in Power BI and Power Automate. Definitely, you may have some more idea than me. Uh, I have some idea also about machine learning part, but I think you definitely you have more idea. So I uh, kind of encourage you to go and check out that how it works. And I think that's a really 
good move to have that one is kind of uh, is a good connection between Power BI and Power Automate. Thanks so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it and use Power Automate in your next project.